breaking news on Action News Live at Midday. We are remembering a legend. Hall of Fame coach Jerry Tarkanian has passed away. And this Midday, we are honoring his legacy. Hello, and thanks for joining us here on Action News Live at Midday. I'm Jessica Janner. And I'm Spencer Lubitz. Thanks so much for sticking with us for our second half hour. Right now, the community is mourning the loss of a coaching great, Jerry Tarkanian. The legendary basketball coach passed away at Valley Hospital this morning. Yeah, Tark the Shark, obviously a well-known name around here, not only for being just a leader in our community, but of course, that iconic year back in 1990 when he took yeah. the Running Rebels back to the national championships. The Hall of Famer was hospitalized earlier this week after having some breathing troubles. He fought long and hard. He's had a lot of health troubles over the last year, ultimately losing his battle this morning at the age of 84. We have team coverage, our team covering this one across the valley. Action News anchor Victoria Spilabati has been live at UNLV all morning in front of the Jerry Tarkanian statue erected in his honor. And Victoria, as you told us at the top of the hour, folks there have been coming out all morning long, bringing towels to remember the coach. Good morning. All right, all right. <laughs> Yes, good morning, Spencer. This uh, statue here filled with uh, flowers and towels, people coming to uh, pay their respects to the legendary coach. I'm joined now by former player Moses Scurry. He was on that winning championship team and knows uh, the coach very well. Mr. Scurry, you've been with him in the hospital the last few days. What was it like for you uh, to say goodbye to him? Very hard, very hard. You know, I, I cried the last couple of days and you know, for, for me to watch him go, I thought it would be even harder. But uh, I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm, I'm, you know, I guess, you know, my main man is at ease. You know, he's no pain. I'm relaxed right now. What was it like having him on, as a coach and playing on that uh, championship team? Man, he taught me a lot. He taught me a lot off and off the court, on and off the court. And, um, you know, I'm sorry if I, you know, the words come out wrong. It's just... I just can't believe him, and me standing next to his uh, statue, man, is just it's emotional at times. This is a tough loss for the entire community, uh, including all of his players. Um, what kind of a loss is this uh, for Las Vegas? What did he mean to this community? It's not, it's not uh, even Las Vegas. It's for the basketball world. You know, the, the people that knew who he was, um, you know, and and. and type of the, 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 the way he taught the game of basketball, you know, but overall he was, he was a great guy. You know, like I say, uh, you know, I was born and raised in Brooklyn and he took me out of a bad situation and put me in a great situation. So, you know, I, I, I could never forget this guy. I might just sit here next to a statue all night. Thank you, Mr. Scurry. Our condolences, and we're sorry for your loss. We knew that he was a great man to you. Thank you. Thank you. And again, uh, people have come by his statue here. We've got some flowers. We've got some towels. It's still early enough in the day, so expect this to really fill up as the day goes on. This is a really iconic statue here. Uh, went up about a year and a half ago. Uh, Coach Tarkanian here in one of his most famous poses with the uh, towel up to his lips and then the empty chair right next to him. Uh, the students here on the UNLV campus are organizing a vigil through social media, and that is said to be here at the statue at 5 o'clock tonight. Spencer and Jessica.